Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this video is another episode of our home lab series using Packet Tracer. In this video, we are gonna set up a DHCP server that will assign different IP address to our clients and different subnet. We are also gonna be using a router in this home lab example. So if you're interested in today's video, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. So the prerequisites for this video is you need to have the Cisco Packet Tracer software, of course, that's what we'll be using, and knowledge in layer two networking, knowledge of VLANs, DHCP, DHCP server, switch, and router. I also prepared a PDF of the step-by-step -step instructions of this home lab today, so you can check it out on the website, eastcharmer.com, and if you go to resources tab and click on the networking folder, it should be under the name the HCP server with InterVLAN routing home lab. So this is the step-by-step -step instruction if you want to follow along. And I will also include the link in the description box below if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's get started by adding the end devices to the workspace in here. So let's click on end devices and we are going to do three VLANs. So let's add three PCs here. And then we are going to set up the HCP server. So let's add a server as well. And after that, let's now add our network devices here. So let's start with the router. Let's just do a 2911 router in here. We need one router and one switch. So let's do a 2960 switch in here. And next is to connect them all together by using a copper straight through. So let's connect the server first to the switch. I'm just gonna use the very last in here. So it won't get mixed up with the clients. And let's connect the first PC for the first VLAN to Fast Ethernet 01. And we are gonna do a range in here. So the first five ports in here will go to the first VLAN, the next five ports will go to the next, and so on and so forth. So for the second VLAN in here, let's do Fast Ethernet 06 and connect this and let's follow the same for the last VLAN let's do a fast Ethernet 11 and the third VLAN here then let's connect the router to the switch so I'm also gonna use the last port in here for the trunk port this is gonna act as a trunk port that is connected to the switch let's just use the first port for the router okay so just a tip in here is to add some labels or description on your workspace so it will be easier so since we have three vlans in this example i'm just gonna add it here so we can see it right away if we are configuring it's gonna be sales vlan 11 oh sorry vlan 20 is it vlan 30 is hr and also do the same for your clients so let's just label them according to their vlan number in here so this is going to be vlan 10 and also add the subnet to make it easier later 192.168.10.0/24 i'm just using a regular class c in here but you can use any ip address that you want for the home lab so let's do this next one vlan 20 and 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and the last vlan 30 192.168.30.0 i'm just going according to their vlan number here okay so our first configuration will be creating vlans for our network so let's click on the switch in here and go to cli and let's do enable and configure terminal in here and let's just create the VLANs that we have listed here on the side so let's do a VLAN 10 name sales next is VLAN 20 name is IT and last would be VLAN 30 name HR and exit so the next is to assign all those ports to the respective VLANs. So since we are doing the first five as VLAN 10, let's do this command and range just to make it easier. So let's do the first port, FA01. 
to 5 and let's do a switch port mode access because these are access ports and switch port access VLAN 10 for our first 5 ports in here now let's do an exit so we can get into the other ports let's do an int range the next 5 will be FA 0 6 to 10 that's the next 5 ports in here so let's make it an access port with this command switch port mode access and assign it to the VLAN 20 switch port access VLAN 20 and exit and let's do the last VLAN and range FA 0 11 to 15 and switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 make sure that you assign them to the respective VLANs and let's verify if they are correct let's do a do show VLAN brief in here and see if they are properly assigned to the respective VLANs and ports okay so I think I missed something in here so earlier we put the server onto the last switch port in here so we missed giving it or assigning it to a VLAN so let's now do that so let's do and FA024 this is the last this is the port where the server is connected so let's just do a switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 10 just want to add that we are going to put the HCP server on VLAN 10 in this home lab okay and then exit in here uh, show command in here show VLAN we can see that port 24 is connected to VLAN it's assigned to VLAN 10 now next is to configure the trunk port to the router so let's go to the interface for our trunk port so we did the interface FA023 in here and let's do a switch port mode trunk in here okay let's just make sure that it's really the port 23 because I know this is 24 so this is 23 F you can hover into it to check what interface okay so let's now configure the router because we are doing inter VLAN routing so let's click on the router here go to CLI and this is gonna show up when you first configure it so let's just type in no we don't really want to do extra configuration right now and do enable and conf t in here and we are going to configure the sub interfaces for each vlan okay so for each vlan we are going to create a sub interface with the vlan id and assign an ip address which is the gateway for each vlan in here so let's get started with this command interface gig zero since we are using zero zero as our interface for the router let's do zero zero dot the vlan number of your vlan so let's get started with vlan 10 in here and then let's do this command encapsulation dot one q and the vlan number which is 10. so the encapsulation command in here tells the router which vlan it's handling on each sub interface that's why we are telling it that it's on vlan 10. so this is important because the router needs to differentiate the traffic coming from each vlan since there is multiple vlans coming into to this one interface here so it's important not to forget this command in here when you are creating sub interface and let's now add and assign the IP address for the gateway for each VLAN so let's do the VLAN 10 so it's on the subnet 192.168.10.0 so the gateway for that would be dot one so let's do 192.168.10.1 and don't forget the subnet mask here okay so let's exit and let's do the next interface for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So let's do an int gi00.20 in here, encapsulation.1q and the number of the VLAN, which is 20, and the IP address for the gateway, 
which will be 192.168.20.1 and the subnet mask okay and then the last VLAN which is int gi0.0 0 .0, oops 0, 0 0.30 Encapsulation dot one q thirty IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot thirty dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and exit. Okay, so the next thing that you will do is to enable the router interface here because as you can see it's still red. So let's do let's go to the interface which is in gig zero zero and let's just do a no shot in here. Okay, so as you can see it changes right away to green and it's now enabled. And of course do not forget to save. Okay, so let's now configure the DHCP server here. Click on the DHCP server and first thing we will do is to set up a static IP in here. So go to config tab and select fast ethernet and then let's set up a static IP. So I'm just going to use something from VLAN 10. So the server is going to be on this VLAN. So it's going to be 192.168.10.2. That's the next available uh, IP address and just a subnet mask. And also don't forget to set up the default gateway for this. So let's go to the settings tab on the left side and type in the gateway, which is the gateway for VLAN 10 in here, which is 192.168.10.1. Okay. Next, we are going to set up our DHCP pools. Since we have three VLANs, we are also going to create three pools for each subnet. So let's go to the services tab, select the HCP, and then make sure that the service is on and type the pool name in here, which we will just use VLAN 10 to make it easier. And the default gateway for VLAN 10, which is 192.168.10.1. Let's leave the DNS server for now. The start IP address. This is the IP address where you want the IP address to start from the DHCP lease. So let's just do a dot 10 in here because sometimes we are reserving the first few IP address on the subnet. So make sure that the subnet mask is correct and for the maximum number of users, since we have a small lab in here, small network, let's just do a 20 in here. And then let's just add it to the pool. So just make sure that everything is correct there. Let's now do the other VLAN which is VLAN 20 and just change the gateway to the correct gateway for the respective VLAN and also the IP address here and maximum number of users the same just click on add and let's do the same for the last VLAN in here so default gateway should be dot 30 and the start IP address should be dot 30 in here okay and add so the table at the bottom in here lets you verify if you have everything set up correctly. So just make sure that the default gateway is correct for the VLAN and the start IP address. So after configuring the DHCP server, the next configuration is the DHCP relay on the router. So since the DHCP server is only VLAN 10, the other VLANs cannot directly access it for IP leases. So DHCP relay is used to forward DHCP requests from the other VLANs, VLAN 20 and 30, to the DHCP server that's in VLAN 10. So we are going to configure the DHCP relay on the router. So let's click on the router and let's do exit here to make sure that we are on the correct interface here. So since we are just configuring for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 because the DHCP server is on VLAN 10. Let's just go to VLAN 20 sub interface, which is int gi00.20. And then we are going to use this command IP helper address. So type IP helper address in here, and you are going to type in the static IP of the server. So let's double check the IP address. It's 
too so let's just add a label to that so it's easier to refer to dot ten dot zero so let's go back to the router we're gonna type in 192.168.10.2 which is the IP address of the DHCP server okay so let's now go to the top interface for VLAN 30 which is in GI00.30 and then IP helper address the static IP of the server the HTTP server 192.168.10.2 all right so sit on that okay so let's now check if the HTTP is working so let's go to the first PC desktop IP config and it's now assigned a DHCP IP address and it's on the same subnet as VLAN 10 but it's assigned a dot 4 which is not how we set it up as the start IP address to be leased so let's check on the other computers okay IP config so this one is assigned the correct IP address from where we wanted to start also dot 20.10 and let's check the VLAN 30. This should be the 30.10. Okay, so that those two PCs are correct. Just let's just check our DHCP server in here. Okay, VLAN 10. We have set it up to start at IP address 10. So I'm not sure why it's given dot four in here. So not sure what we have done differently in here, but this is how we set up a DHCP server in Packet Tracer. If you want to practice your uh, DHCP skills and also so a little bit of routing in here and VLANs. So this is just an example of a home lab that you can try out. You can, of course, modify this to whatever you want, change the IP address, change the number of subnets in here, change the DHCP server static IP address you can modify this however you want it's just a guide on how to get started so if you have any questions please feel free to comment it in the section comment section down below I hope that you learned something from today's video and please check out the next video for the packet tracer home labs once again thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next videos